What's up? <laughs> I thought that was perfect. I don't have anything to add. Scott, all the dance you were making faces. Was that? <laughs> like that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what um, were you imagining? <laughs> I think I was just uh, trying to stay in character today. I thought. Uh, <coughs> In the programs, like between Skate Canada and here, I've really kind of been, we've been skating really well, but I haven't had the expression, so I was trying pretty hard today. Maybe it showed a little bit too much, but doing that, but uh, I don't know, maybe I was trying to get some air in my mouth. <laughs> I was very pleased with the results. Yeah, yeah. This time of year, uh, we're more so pleased about how we skate, really. Um, obviously, yeah, that was good. And it's definitely nice to improve, uh, you know, in two weeks since we last competed, or a week since we last competed, um, to, you know, bring our, our points up five. So it's, it's nice. It's a lot better. And um, hopefully we'll be able to, uh, you know, even capitalize on a couple more key points that we missed in the polka. And uh, obviously we're not happy with the side-by-side -side line being... Uh, the level three, we just have to kind of capitalize on those points, especially in the short program. Other than that, we're happy. The Russian public um, likes you, and do you like it? Love oh it. My gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, that was a big reason why we wanted to come to this competition. We have never done Russell Com Cup or Cup of Russia before, and it's so nice to feel that support from Russian fans. We even have banners in the rink with pictures of on practice today. I was like, yay! Yeah, sometimes in Canada we don't get banners, so it's even yeah, nice. Yeah, uh, uh, means a lot to us. Mm -hmm. and we look forward to spending a lot more time in Russia, and we're, we're so appreciative of all the support. And they're such knowledgeable skating fans, too. I mean, with the history that uh, obviously Russia and the USSR have had, it's, uh, there's a lot of skating fans here, and you can tell that they are true fans, and they know a lot about the sport, so it's fun to skate in front of them. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's 100%. Really, there's nothing uh, It doesn't bother me in day-to-day -day training or day-to-day uh, -day life. So I'm, uh, I'm very happy with the way it rehabbed and it's, it's good now. should be uh, moving forward. So are you waiting for final instructions? Well, yeah, that's our job this week is to qualify. So obviously it's really exciting to... Uh, you know, we were really pleased that they were doing uh, Grand Prix Finals for the test event this, this year because that means we get to go and it's huge for us. Usually they do uh, for test event either four continents if it's, if it's in, uh, obviously not in Europe, and if it's in Europe it's usually the European Championships for the Olympic test event. And for it to be Grand Prix Finals, which is a huge plus for us to get to see Sochi and kind of take in the sights and get used to it before 2014, excuse me. It should be a really fun event for us in December. Our schedule is really nice for that because our Grand Prix events were close together, but now we have you know almost a month when we get home to really build the program to get a lot of intense training in. So it'd be nice to have that build up towards the final. And uh, I've seen some pictures too of the rink or on Twitter or whatever they were, and somebody sent them to me. It looks beautiful, so we're looking to get excited to get inside of that rink for sure. Did you thought about your Olympic program? We thought about always. it. Always. <laughs> We're always thinking about it. I'm not going to tell you about any of our ideas. <laughs> <laughs> but if you have any ideas. Yeah, send them forward. <laughs> no, it's always, I think that's something, um, you know, you, you kind of start thinking in four year cycles. So we're always building towards that one major program and working backwards to figure out what we want to do in the years leading in. And um, maybe Marina has some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> We're all hoping that each other. Yeah. We all hope that some of the other one of us have uh, the golden, golden program, but we're not sure what it is yet. I think there are so many reasons for it to be special to us. I mean, we've learned over the years that we have to love it, and I think we could skate Mahler for the rest of our careers and, and still love to do it. We love the music, we love the choreography, and we want something like that. But obviously, um, a little bit of a departure. Too. Yeah, a little bit different and something that um, is challenging and showcases, you know, hopefully our improved skating skills. Is it the secret of your success? I mean, the uh, secret that you love uh, to your skating and enjoy your performance? I think that's a secret uh, for anything you do, really. I mean, when you put passion into it every day, and we have to say that we enjoy working together every single day, and we're lucky to have each other as partners. So when we go into the rink and, and we're both able to put that much passion into our uh, you know day-to-day -day training, I think that shows. And, in the competition, so I mean, I'd like to think that's our secret, and it's it's also just a lot easier for us to do, and a lot more enjoyable. We have to do it every day, so we might as well enjoy ourselves. Anything else?